On the Easel, African Rainforest Rest, a commission painting. While I, of course, prefer to work from my own experiences, when that isn't possible, I confer with experts, read books, scour the internet, trying to learn all I can about the species I'm going to paint. I have certainly been to Africa, have been in dense rainforests, so although I haven't actually seen a zebra diker in the wild, I felt I had enough information in my artistic psyche to do this painting, along with first doing a lot of research. Research. I have a vast natural history library where I could study about the dikers. But this painting also included butterflies. So what about the butterflies? Interestingly enough, I did have a field guide on African butterflies. I did a special project about 25 years ago with Audubon. The gentleman that I worked with gifted me an old autograph book on African butterflies. I've never used it. Until now. The butterflies in the painting are blue swallowtail in the family of daggertails. I think the butterflies are Graphium antheus large striped dagger tails. I collect skulls. They really help me to study the shape of the head, the angles, and proportions. Unfortunately, I do not have any diker skulls, but was able to find this one and others on the internet. The internet is a great resource, especially science-based sites such as this one, Ultimate Ungulate. I volunteer as a citizen scientist, helping to identify camera traps. I work mainly on Mozambique, but I do some that are in West and Central Africa. I was delighted one day when the subject turned out to be a zebra diker. It was a quick look, but I managed also to get more information about the habitat. So even more that my conservation work gives back to me. I did lots of small sketches and studies, making notes and observations. After research on the vegetation in Liberia, where the dikers are found, I found much was very similar to what I'd seen and sketched during trips to Central and South America. So I was able to utilize a lot of my own photos for the habitat reference. The drawing. After doing many tiny thumbnail sketches to see what composition I liked, I worked the general idea up in the computer on Photoshop Elements, doing a computer compositional sketch, which then became my main roadmap. I then drew the dikers and basic elements of habitat on tracing paper the size of the canvas. In fact, this is the most detailed one I've ever done. I wanted the leaves and everything to be perfect. Here is a picture of my painting table as I'm getting ready to begin. I like to have my photos all taped close to me so that I can just flick my eyes quickly, gathering information as I'm painting. Painting begins. The first thing I do after stretching the canvas is to tone it with burnt sienna, which is a rust color. It gives a warm glow to the paintings that I really co have come to like. I trace the drawing onto the painting surface with wax artist paper. I will continue to flip the drawing back and forth as needed throughout the painting. The main elements have been transferred from the tracing paper. This is the blocking in stages shape. I start from the back moving forward. Slowly areas start to be refined and defined. In the left photo the upper left hand corner has been started. And in the right one on the right, the upper right hand corner has been more or less completed and the dead palmetto frond is started. Because the vegetation in front of the dikers was so important, I transfer those over now. Notice I've also begun detail on the palmetto and bringing some light into the leafy area under the dikers. The plant in front of the male diker is almost complete. I've started blocking in his colors as well. Working more on the male, detailing and refining, and having started adding his stripes. 
I love the idea of a splash of blue of one of the dagger tails flying to add interest and movement. I needed a spot of dirt on the forest floor that would attract the butterflies to do mud puddling. Mud puddling is when butterflies extract moisture from the soil while getting important minerals. I create the dirt by loading an old toothbrush with paint and drawing my fingers across it. This is layered multiple times. Detailing and refining the plant in front of the female. You can see the photo on my right I'm working on that I photographed during one of my rainforest trips. Adding the beautiful dagger tail swallowtails, mud puddling near the female. At this point, I'm reassessing everything, figuring out what needs to be refined and defined. I'm also adding the stripes to the female and adding another butterfly to make a more interesting composition. Completed painting. African Rainforest Rest. 12 by 16 acrylic on canvas.